All right. We're in the Vintage Open Tournament. It's on uh, Monday's qualifying round. It's in the Ricky Division. And we're on hole number one. So here we go. Okay, all week long, I have not gotten hole number one. And hole number one has been redesigned like a lot of these holes. And most of them, I find they're playing pretty similar to what they played out before. So the And then some of the redesigns where they've taken trees out and they've taken stuff out, it's actually helped people um, make that particular hole less technical. On this particular hole, they've definitely changed it down here where the green's at. And the green used to be pretty much this whole area down here and there was a line of trees going like this so they've redesigned this entire approach so everything on the other side of the sand from here down to the green is different and I'm not exactly sure I think our hit our shot going t to this neck right here is pretty much going to be the same it's everything forward of that up where the greens at where we're going to have some issues so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to use on this but I know if you draw the line from the tee box out to our landing area out here and then take that angle it's obvious that this hole is going to require a ball that's got lots of side spin so my choices are katana or kingmaker and I'm going to start off with a kingmaker I might as well go this is a this is a par 4 that we absolutely need to get an eagle on so as the week goes on um, it's better to start off big and see what happens than it is to start off small and end up short so I'm going to start off with a kingmaker and an extra mile and I think those are the only two things I'm going to need kingmaker extra mile now, we probably could get this done with a katana, but let's just start big and move down. So I've got a hornet. I'm going to take... <coughs> Not that I think I'm going to be in my backbone range, but if by chance I am, I want to bring some accurate clubs. There's no way I'm going to be in less than my backbone or my hornet range. Not unless I epic fail, and then I'm going to be using the bottom three clubs, not the top four. Okay, so we will go look at this redesigned hole, first time at it. It's always interesting when you go to a hole for the very first time, especially a hole that's been redesigned because your mind is working on what it knows and now it's different. So we will see. Hole number one. We're definitely going to be using this as a practice day. So anything that happens today is not any big deal. It's all about practicing today. I've got two accounts. I'm going to practice both of them. Um, I may practice both of them tomorrow. So our opponent's got a Titan. You can easily make it over. And with that distance on that side with a Titan, and they're using max top spin. Now let's see if they apply any overpower or if they just move it along. They do apply some overpower and some curl. Lots of curl. Not quite max overpower. And then great to the right. Let's see what kind of distance they get out there. Nice. Very nice. Take two miles per hour out. And I'm going to try a non overpower. I'm just going to try and I'm going to push up against the nubs with overpower. I hit it great on the inside. A little long. A little long. Needed a little more curl on there, too. I'll have to go back and watch that. I tried not to do too many things on it. 
or too nothing too drastic. I'll have to go back and watch that and see. Um, it looked to me like I should have applied every single bit of curl. And if I would have actually been on the green, that probably would have been long on there. So that overpower needs to be, if it's right up against the nubs, just barely overpower. get it to hit the flagpole. Get it great to the left. Not good. Not good. <laughs> That's why you need to be on. I think they've actually made this hole easier. This hole was extremely difficult. I mean, it was, it, it was possible... It was an easy eagle, but it was difficult at the same time because either you hit it and you got an eagle or you were you were in deep, deep trouble. And now it seems like you may be able to get up there on the fringe and do those chips a lot more consistently than you used to. So they may have helped us out on this first hole. We'll have to play it a few more times just to make sure um, we can dial that in. But it's definitely going to be on my notes here. It's going to be a three power ball. And I think I am going to stick with the Kingmaker. And it's going to be max right side spin. Slight overpower. Max top spin. All right. We're off to hole number two. That was hole number one of the Vintage Open in the Rookie Division in Monday's qualifying round. Thanks for watching.